Oh, madam, we did. He desires to make atonement between his brother Richard and your sisters. I'm between you and my lord Hastings. He sent to call all to his royal presence. Would all were well, but that would never be. I fear our happiness is at the highest. They do me wrong, and I will not endure it. Who are they that complain unto the king that I forsooth them stern and love will not? They feel Isaias with such dissensions, Rufus, because I cannot flatter, speak fair, smile in men's faces, smooth, deceive, and calm. I must be held a rancorous enemy. Cannot a plain man let it think no harm, but thus this simple truth be abused? To whom in all this presence speaks your grace? To thee that ask for honesty, nor grace. But have I injured thee? One done thee wrong, or thee, or thee, or thee, or any of your faction. A plague upon you all. His royal person, whom God preserved better than, you, better than you could wish, cannot be quiet and scarce breathe a while, but you must trouble him with lewd complaints. Brother in law, you must take the matter, the king of his own royal disposition, and not provoked by any suitor else. But how your outward actions show itself against my kindred sisters and myself to make him the sin, that thereby he may gather the ground of your ill will and so remove. I cannot tell. The world has grown so bad that rents may pray we dare not pray. Come, come, we know your meaning, brother-in-law. You envy my advance from that of my sister. God grant we never may have need of you. Meantime, God grants that we have need of you. I brought this in prison by your means. I never did incense his majesty against your brother Clarence, but have been an earnest advocate to plead for him. You may deny that you are not the cause of my Lord Hastings' late imprisonment. She may, my lord. She may, Lady Rivers. I have done for shame, if not for charity. Urge neither charity nor shame to me. Uncharitably with me you have dealt, and shamefully by you my hopes are butchered. Outrage is my charity, life my shame. Have done, have done. Oh, Prince, thy back in I kiss thy hand. Thy garments are not spotted with our blood, nor thou within the compass of my curse. Nor no one here. Oh, Buckingham. Take heed of yonder dog. Look, when he fawns, he bites, and when he bites, the venom tooth will wrangle thee to death. Have not to do with him. Beware of him. What does she say, my lord of Buckingham? Nothing that I respect, my gracious lord. Why dost thou scorn my gentle counsel, and then soothe the devil that I warn thee from? But remember this another day when he shall split thy heart with sorrow and say, poor Margaret was a prophetess. 